This is a painting I recently finished. I want to talk about one of the reasons I made it, and explain the composition. It is based on a photograph. The photo is old, before digital cameras and Photoshop so what you see is natural, it's real. Why would I make a pictorial equivalent, is the reason I'm going to explain. If you look at the horse, that's something you've probably seen before, on TV, in photos. I don't know if horses have different sizes of penises but when he's fully deployed, it looks like this. The image doesn't provoke revulsion, maybe a few giggles from some children. The horse is not about to copulate, he's just having lunch, judging from the light in the painting, it's midday. Looking at the man, let's imagine he had a small penis, also in a relaxed, natural display. A male nude in an academic pose, posing for an artist. That would not horrify anyone, maybe some would label the image as not safe for work. Maybe some mothers would scream don't let my child see Leonardo's David, it will disturb him for life, maybe he'll become a criminal or a dysfunctional man. But he's got this unusual penis size. Some would like to have one themselves, maybe a few would like to be sexually involved with this man. We are bombarded, numb with information. Seeing the photo, many would look at it for one second and swipe to the next photo. This is how we're trained, there's another photo, maybe that one will be better, would please me more. There's talk, 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 gossip, tweets, news, fake news, ads, ads, ads. Bombarding our brains. Images, 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 bombarding our brains. It's normal that our bodies become numb, to protect themselves from an informational shock. Fainting is a natural body reaction to intense pain. However, paintings get a few more extra seconds of attention, at least sometimes. Maybe in those seconds your mind has time to form other thoughts, other emotional reactions than the photo might elicit. The reason I'm saying all this is to explain my response to human nudity, and how I get more than the average person who looks at something similar. On my website, mongrafito.art, I keep a blog and one entry is, I sing the body naked. There, I explain my relationship to the naked body and give you a chance to compare your experience with mine, in the hope that it will add something to your life. Looking back at the painting, the sky is natural, the forest is natural, the horse is natural, the man is natural. The whole image expresses tranquility, praises nature as nature is, and maybe, will give you other personal thoughts and emotions. I didn't go into hyper-realistic details, to let you look at the painting as a whole. My hope is that you will slowly unnumb your senses and have a natural relationship with nature and art.